This is Bill Borgoff at the National Weather Service office in the Twin Cities with a quick weather briefing for this upcoming snowstorm expected on Wednesday. Overnight we expanded the winter storm watch northward a bit, so now it includes Redwood Falls, Minneapolis, St. Paul, New Richmond, Wisconsin, and up toward Ladysmith. Snowfall totals are expected to range from 6 to 12 inches from southeastern South Dakota across northern Iowa, southern Minnesota, and into central Wisconsin. However, there is a potential for even greater amounts with over a foot possible across southern Minnesota and into central Wisconsin and even as much as 10 inches in the Twin Cities metro. For the last several days, models have been quite inconsistent with the snowfall amounts, especially on the northwestern edge. To demonstrate this uncertainty, here's the short-range ensemble forecast for Minneapolis-St. Paul. Each one of these lines represents a different model, and you can see a large clustering of models greater than 12 inches even in the Twin Cities, although there are still some members that are much, much lighter. The official National Weather Service forecast calls for 4 to 6 inches in the metro, but those amounts can change, especially if some of the other models begin to show even heavier amounts. Here's a precipitation timeline starting at 7 a.m. Wednesday, and you can see a narrow band of rain and or snow across central southern Minnesota and into central Wisconsin. That will weaken as the morning progresses, but we are beginning to watch this very large shield of precipitation move north, and by the afternoon, the snow will begin across southern Minnesota, and it should be reaching the Twin Cities by mid to late afternoon, including during the rush hour. Some of these darker blues indicate potential for very heavy snow. The snow continues into Wednesday evening with a mix of rain and snow across the southeast corner of the state and into central Wisconsin and then showers and thunderstorms to the south across Iowa and Missouri. Here's some final highlights for this briefing. Uncertainty remains unusually high with several models bringing the heaviest snow further south across northern Iowa and into southern Wisconsin while others bring it much further north, even up toward the St. Cloud area. Amounts are likely to change as new information arrives. The snowfall gradient will be tighter than currently forecast, but uncertainty precludes showing where that gradient will set up. There is a potential for major impacts, especially for the Wednesday evening commute, and you want to stay tuned to later forecasts as new information becomes available. Thanks for watching.